So Maggie's been out for a while and I've been playing her a little bit and I have to say she is a lot of fun to play. Maggie is a great defensive and offensive legend, but for some reason she only has a 3% pick rate. In this video, I will give you a quick guide on her abilities, go over some gameplay explaining how to use her kit, and then why I think she has such a low pick rate. But let's go ahead and go over the abilities. First, we have her passive, which is Warlord's Ire. When you damage an enemy, they are scanned similar to Bloodhound, but for a very short time. Being able to scan enemies for a quick second is very helpful when enemies are behind cover because you can figure out if they're batting or if they are switching angles around cover. The second part to her passive is she has faster movement speed when holding a shotgun. This movement speed is about the same as if you're running with your fists out. I feel like this part of her passive is really underrated. I still recommend you running around with your fists because it could lead to bad habits when you're playing other legends but this passive shines when you are fighting in close quarters where you are strafing faster than other legends this additional movement speed can trick opponents who are not used to fighting maggie in close quarters causing them to miss more shots this is similar to octane stem and bangalore's passive but the problem with Octane Stem is it takes some precious health away from you that you might need in that fight. Also, Bangalore's passive is great, but if you're not used to the timing of her passive, it could throw off your shots. Next, we have the Riot Drill. So this ability fires the drill and burns enemies on the opposite side of that cover. This ability can drill up to about 30 meters, but I wouldn't recommend doing this. To make this ability consistent, I'd recommend you using it on walls, boxes, and small rocks. The thicker the object, the harder it might be to accurately hit whoever's behind it. The maximum damage over time is 150 and this ability cannot stick to enemies. This ability is great for getting your passive scan on people behind cover and forces your enemy to move or take damage. Also great for knocking enemies again if they are being revived, but the best way to think about this ability is similar to a thermite grenade. So. Definitely don't expect to get any kills or high damage with this ability. It's mainly used to keep your enemies under pressure and to move out of cover. And then lastly, we have her ultimate, which is called Wrecking Ball. It throws a ball and releases speed pads and can knock enemies stunning them. This ability is great for rotating in the open either to push a fight or run away from a third party. Her ultimate is also great for knocking doors and surprising your enemies. They usually don't expect this. I've done this a few times, but you just have to make sure that you or your teammates aren't standing next to the door because you guys are going to get knocked and then you're going to get all confused where the hell you are. And the teammates and enemies can use these pads. So if you're running away from an enemy, it's not a good idea to throw it at them expecting to stun someone. Whoever is not hit will just get a speed boost and catch up to you. All right, since we went over all her abilities, let's go ahead and go over some VOD reviews of me playing Maggie and using her kit to the fullest. So in this VOD right here, I want you guys to see how I'm using her Q and just see how good her passive is with a shotgun and marking people or scanning people when you hit them. So in this video right here, we just landed. I grab an alternator and I have an EVA 8. I always grab an EVA 8, any kind of shotgun, even if it's a, oh, it's a Mozambique, anything, just because I want to have the extra movement speed. So right now I'm actually separated from my Pathfinder, but I know this Valkyrie is up here and the Bloodhound scan somewhere further past her. So, I get some shots on her and right there, I was able to move up with the shotgun, right? Cause I switched over my shotgun and I pushed forward and she was trying to shoot me, but I feel like if I did not have the passive of the extra moving speed, she would have been able to land those shots on me. So here we have a little trade, but that last shot was very important because not only was I able to knock her, but as you see down in this hallway, there is the Bloodhound. So now we know where her teammate is. And because of that, we could prepare ourselves for the second push. So he throws a few nades at me. And then right here is a really good use of the Q. Not only did I Thermite, but I also queued just to really make this Bloodhound not want to push me because as you can see, I am very low health on that bottom left corner. But what ends up happening is this Bloodhound pushes me. And because he does that, because of my passive, I know that he is there, right? And not only do I know that he's there, but I know that he's jumping in the air and not doing a slide or just not doing a regular peek. And like I said, don't forget how low my health is right here. So, of course, he misses a few shots. 
but because I have this passive and because I have a shotgun, I'm able to get the last shot on him and get the kill. So this VOD right here is just a good example of how I use Maggie's Q. And not only that, but how good her passive is with the movement speed of the shotgun and more importantly, scanning people in the back when you're shooting at an enemy. All right, for this last VOD review, I'll be going over how to use her whole kit again, but more importantly, just how we use her ultimate here. So it's me and my friend versus two other squads. It's the last circle. Um, so we ended up getting a few shots on this year right here, which was nice. One's relatively low. And then this Octane peaks, but then because I know that this is his only cover, I'm going to shoot my Q preemptively. Um, I wasn't expecting him to stick around when I shot this Q, but I shot this Q and now he's stuck thinking I have to either continue challenging these people or take the Q damage. But because I feel like people aren't used to playing against Maggie or maybe this Octane just have a bigger ego than other people, he's going to stick around. He's going to get cracked. And because I preemptively shot my Q, he's going to get knocked right here. And then because I knocked one, if you ever knock anyone, you guys have the advantage as Maggie. Always use your ultimate. Make that push. I mean, you know, it's a long time to kill in this game. So if you get any advantages, definitely push. Um, and more importantly, I want you guys to see just how big Maggie's hitbox on her ultimate is. So let's go ahead and play this. Right here, I was able to hit the Seer and the Octane, but just, just kind of look how far my ultimate is away from them. I know it kind of hit this corner, but then like it didn't even seem like it touched them. But somehow they both get knocked. Like you see my, my ball's over here, right? Because the pads is where the ball bounce. But I was able to hit both of them and get a nice little PK kill right here. And then lastly, this is just a very quick thing, is the third team end up coming like to push us or whatever. And I just want to show you guys how good her passive is. Uh, and it's kind of underrated. Um, so just this team pushes us. Uh, they're right on the catwalk. Yeah, so one's on the catwalk. On right I was able to get a nice shot on this Rafe right here. So I know she was low. And then right here against this Pathfinder. Okay, I know I missed all my damn R3 shots. I'm, I'm trash. But we're talking about the shotgun passive here. So don't forget, because you are essentially holstered or like your fists are out when you're using a shotgun, you're able to build velocity a lot faster than people if they have a shotgun out too or any other kind of like gun in their hand. So because I know that and I'm like worried that this Pathfinder is going to hit me while I'm strafing, I go for a longer strafe into a slide, right? So I know you could also do this with other legends, but because of her passive, you could do this faster than other legends, especially when you're getting shot at. So right here, I do a nice slide and I was able to get a shot on him. But sadly, I push down, I miss all my three shots and then the Rift gets me. But oh, the Rift jumped on me. we do end up winning this game, luckily. Thank goodness. Thank goodness my teammate was able to clutch it up. But in this gameplay or this VOD review right here, it just shows you how versatile and good uh, Maggie is especially for like zoning but let's go ahead and go over why I think she has a really low pick rate at 3% alright so why does Maggie have a low pick rate as you can see here she has a 2.9 pick rate right now essentially a 3% um, close to Mirage but still better than Crypto, Seer and all these other guys so why does she have such a low pick rate me personally I like Maggie's uh play style just because it's a little bit slower um you have the ability to play defensively and you're able to zone legends or enemies attacking you um and not only that but you have the tools to help you push when you need to so she's just a good all-around character um i feel like her issue is more importantly she doesn't have an ability that gives you like instant satisfaction when you use it right or even like a get out of jail free card kind of ability so like octane right 
with his Q, his Them, he's able to get that boost of energy immediately. And with Horizon, you're able to get that gravity lift and get the hell out of whatever situation you're in. So when you're playing as Maggie, you know, you have to be, you have to kind of play like a Gibraltar or kind of like a, a, a caustic. That, that's just because you don't have that gel free card or ability to get the hell out of wherever you need to be. I know there is her ultimate, but that's like, you know, you can't use her ultimate every fight. You have to use her ultimate every other fight or while you're rotating or something. So that's, I think that's her big issue is just because she doesn't have that instant satisfaction ability. All her abilities are either zoning or is damage over time. Um, and then her passive, I feel like her, her scan passive where you actually do damage and it highlights them. It's not like Bloodhound where it lasts for a good while. Um, I feel like Maggie, I feel like if they buff Maggie's passive just a little bit to give her like another second or something on scanning people would be nice. Even I know like her teammates don't get to see the scan, which is fine. But I feel like if her scan was just a little bit longer in certain scenarios, it would be a lot more useful. Just then you get a little bit more information and people might want to play Maggie a little bit more because she's, she's a little bit more of, I don't know, like a scanning champion or legend or whatever but all in all maggie's a really good all around legend she's great for defense she's great for offense when you finally find an opening and with her passive i guess you get mobility and you get scanning so she's like i feel like the most all around every single ability in the game kind of legend so but but mainly because she doesn't have that instant satisfaction ability no one wants to play her but i i am telling you guys you guys should play maggie mad maggie is a great legend and using the pk or the mastiff even the eva 8 and the freaking mozambique are all amazing i love running assault rifles and shotguns in apex i i don't ever really pick up a sniper rifle so having that extra moon speed with maggie is really great and you guys should definitely give her a try if you guys like this video do me a favor smash that like button and if you guys learn anything please smash that like button it helps me out a whole bunch it's totally free go ahead let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying maggie and let me know in the comments too if you guys learn anything from my VOD reviews and my tips also hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more apex gameplay i will be uploading some more i'll see you guys in the next video peace